So what we should do right now is to go to our virtual virtualization manager, uh, our Oracle VM VirtualBox manager. We don't need to stop our virtual machine. We can go directly into settings and choose the network and hit on advanced because we are going to change some port forwarding. So hit on this button and you make sure that you do the same settings as I'm going to do right now. So hit on plus button and we will start with A, uh, capital I, E in an uppercase. Uh, we will create in t on a TCP protocol host IP 127.001, host port 3300, guest IP is our IP uh, 10, 0, 2, 15, and guest port is 3300. Okay. And again, we add another rule and the name is HTTP, which is uh, TCP 127001, 8000, 10, 0, 2, 15, and 8000. Again, plus, and we will, we will set up like few of those for forwarding rules. So we will set up HTTPS and the same uh, 127000 4 plus SAP GUI TCP 3200 10 0 2 15 4 4 3 0 0 plus SAP GUI TCP 3200 10 0 2 15 oops this is a host port so this should be 3 2 0 0 10, 0, 2, 15, and again, 3, 2, 0, 0, again, plus, and now SCC, 1, 2, 7, 0, 0, 1, okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I have missed this one, 1, 2, 7, 0, 0, 1 again as well, uh, the host port will be 8, 4, 4, 3, 10, 2, uh, 10 0 to 15 8 4 4 3 and the last one is ssh and again 1 to 7 0 0 1 port is 22 10 0 to 15 and 22 port the reason for 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 doing port forwarding is because when we will install SAP GUI on our PC, we will be able to connect via the, those port forwarding, forwarding rules into our SAP server on virtual machine. So our virtual machine will be server and we will be able to connect to that server directly from our PC. Okay, so we will hit OK and once more OK and we are done with setting up of our open SUS and with installation of our SAP server. So we are all set up and what we can do already is to start up our SAP server. So, and this we will do in the following lecture. So let's move on.